have replaced your original Tara with Folgers. Instant hippo. Let's see if they notice. Well, that seemed to fix it. You're as weird as ever. <laughs> you just don't sound like a Dalek now. Hi, Tara. How are you doing? Hello. Good. How are you? You missed... Apparently, Fred. I'm Iron Man. If I was Iron Man, my, uh, my nephew would think I was even more awesome, because he... He saw the Avengers and was like, oh my god, Aunt Tara, Iron Man! And I'm like, I know, but he doesn't appreciate Captain America, so I gotta work on that. Oh. I did miss Fringe. I gotta watch it. I gotta catch it on Hulu. I haven't seen it yet, but I read all the recaps, so I already know what happened. Damn it. Hold on. Vamp for a second, because I wanted to show everybody something. Because you reminded me. I'll be right back. So it's just, oh, hi, everybody. I have a little pepper pots in me, someone says. I'm all about Firestar, you guys. Firestar is where the fuck it's at, and I want her in Avengers 2, and I want to play her. And you guys need to, like, storm Joss Whedon's castle till that happens. I was in the process of cleaning. Radioactive fire. My nephew dislikes Captain America because he can't fly. Thor and Iron Man can fly. And I I'm was like, in the process of cleaning this week because, you know, I'm, I'm boxing up some old stuff and moving stuff. And I found something really neat from my, my long ago childhood. And I wanted to show everybody. Since we're on the Avengers kick, check that out. Oh my! That is a Secret Wars... Iron Man action figure. Wow. From the I totally have a Poison Ivy action figure on the top of my desk right now. Like, from the Hush storyline. This, this is, I think, the, I, I don't know if you'd count the Mego action figure from the 70s as the Iron Man action figure, but this was the first ever. It's like yellow. It's not even gold. Yeah, that's right. It's it's yellow. In fact, I've actually had to touch up the paint because the paint on his face and his chest chipped off. So, me as a little wow. kid, I touched up the paint and then I put clear nail polish over it so it wouldn't chip back off again. Let's see my poison ivy. Let me see if I can get her without wrecking my desk. I have a couple of Dawn action figures too. I was really into Dawn comics for a long time. My poison See, ivy. that's a modern one. This was back... Yeah, well, it's, like I said, it's from the Hush storyline. I forget who wrote that, but it's like this maybe, was, this, maybe 10 years old, that storyline. I don't know. This was from those days when you got you were, you were got five points of articulation, and if you yeah. did, you were lucky. That's it. It's it's he One hand can't do anything. He's just got a fist. Iron Man has a fist. He's got one hand that can hold a gun or something, but this hand, it's forever a fist. This this was... You kids don't know. Hold a gun. That hand is made to hold a drink. Yeah. Fucking Iron Man. Nah. What's he gonna wield? Mjolnir? I don't think so. That's to hold a fucking scotch and soda. I was about to say he could, but canonically that would be wrong, because only Captain America and Thor and Baby yeah, Bill he, can, he, can wield... He, he can't Mjolnir. wield Mjolnir. Mjolnir. The Hulk couldn't pick it up. We are such huge geeks. Uh, <laughs> we really are. We are tremendous. Tremendous. All right. Are you ready to do? Let's do it. All right. Let's 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 get the intro up here. Oh, and this week we have. Oh, well, you're, you're going to be happy this week because uh, we have a collection of uh, probably the topic you excel in. I don't know if it's your favorite topic, but it's the one you excel in. How to be a better criminal. Oh. Um, Who knew that was going to wind up my wheelhouse? Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible things, brings it back here in a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And and this one, okay, let's, let's get the uh, stories up here, because, oh, dear. All right, let's see. Uh, where are we starting? Live, everybody. Okay, first of all, we've got a one of our. I don't know. We'll get that one. We've got one of our favorite topics: um, Facebook criminal foobar. Um, I'll get. I'll get you the link. I promise. I will. Uh, live, everybody. People okay. gotta stop posting their crimes to Facebook. They do. Well, this one's kind of 
worse. Um, man robs internet cafe at gunpoint, forgets to log out of Facebook. Two men wow. robbed, robbed an internet cafe at gunpoint, proceed to make a clean getaway on a motorcycle. One of them got caught anyway because he forgot to log out of his Facebook account, which he checked before committing the crime. Um, really? Yeah. Like, you're going to rob the place, but you just have to stop and see if anybody poked you or if you have any fucking words with friends updates. <laughs> <laughs> That's really important before you fucking rob a place. Can you just see them there with the guns and like, okay, you cover the, the, the uh, you cover the customers, I'll cover the cashier, what are you doing? I'm watering my crops! At the beginning of Pulp Fiction, Pumpkin and Honey Bunny, they were not fucking playing with smartphones, they were not checking their email... You know, they were not like, hey, do you have Wi-Fi in here? No. Granted, that's partially because it was 1994. What is this And Wi-Fi didn't exist, but they wouldn't be anyway. Vincent Vega Uh, and Jules, I forget his last name, would not be doing that right before they bump somebody off from Marcellus Wallace. Because they're not fucking morons. Oh, this next one. This is this is the epitome of a fucking moron. Um. Okay, we have the TSA has gotten all over the place, and they catch all sorts of things. So, in order to evade the TSA, your goal is to be inconspicuous, is to be regular, is to be normal. For example, I've gone through security, not caring, and I've accidentally left like lighters and nail clippers in my bags. They never caught it. Why? Because I, I, I told you my story about the trick lighter that I was sure was going to get me hauled off to Gitmo. So when you actually intend to get something through security, you want to be cons- inconspicuous as possible. Yeah, you gotta act cool. This is not how you do that. This comes from uh, Juarez. <laughs> um... Juarez police arrest arrest couple arguing over heroin <laughs> stuffed teddy bear. Police in Juarez arrested a man and a woman who were arguing loudly over a child stuffed bear that turned out to be stuffed with heroin. The arrest took place on Wednesday afternoon. Police came across the couple arguing at Maria Martinez and Pipilia P- P- Streets. Um, police taught the couple, couple the woman was told them the bear was hers, that it was a gift, and her boyfriend was jealous because someone else had given it to her. After police mm-hmm. commits, the man to turn it over to the woman, an officer noticed a hole in the bear and decided to inspect it. Inside, police said, uh, they found 245 aluminum packets filled with heroin. Okay! Number one. When you are carrying that much heroin, do not call attention to yourself in public. Why don't, don't get in public fights over your heroin possession? It's just bad form. And not only that, she the, the cop comes up and she actually asks the officer to intervene. Hey, the- give me my her, I mean, teddy bear. <laughs> it's a very sentimental teddy bear full of heroin. Why the fuck would you? Why would you? Did you hear about the guy, the four-year-old who got stopped with like a disassembled gun in three of his stuffed animals? Why are you jumping ahead? Sorry, is that on here? I, I didn't know if we were doing that. You're jumping ahead. Why are you jumping ahead? I always got in trouble for that in school. I always got in trouble for reading ahead because I was a fast reader. You're jumping ahead on me here. Yeah. This this show this speaking in back again, as if the bear wasn't bad enough, as if the heroin wasn't bad enough. At least they weren't trying to get on a plane. This guy was gun parts found in boys' stuffed animals at a Rhode Island airport. Um, yeah. Man traveling with his four-year-old son claims he didn't know. That the three stuffed animals his little boy put on the conveyor belt uh, contained parts that could be assembled into a loaded handgun. The, the, the really hilarious part about this story is they were let to get on the plane. 
like they were determined to be harmless. Now, I, I believe that the toddler is probably harmless, but like they said that the father's story was it was because of a domestic dispute and he had no idea those things were in there. Because, you know, who notices when their kid's stuffed animal suddenly weighs three pounds? And, you know, he had no idea. And they believed they bought that bullshit story and let the man on the plane. I'm almost halfway. I'm, I'm wondering if he sat there for a second and gone, can I pin this on the kid? Like, it's you his can't gun. get on a plane with a fucking screwdriver or nail clippers, but this guy, they caught him with a disassembled gun, and they're like, all right, well, we're going to have to confiscate your weapon, but go ahead. I can travel. I can just imagine. Clearly, you're no threat to anybody. But I just, can you imagine the guys in there going, no, no, it's his. It's his gun. It's not mine, officer. I've never seen this gun. Look, it's in his Mickey. It's not mine. Yeah, it always really pisses me off when people get their kids involved in their criminal activity. Like, your kid is not your drug mule. Your kid is not your your weapon guy. I've I've seen people work in retail, having their ki- teaching their kids how to like rip sensors off of stuff and stuff it in bags. And- you know, it's really <sighs> awful here. That poor kid had to sit there and watch the TSA tear his stuffed animals apart. He had to watch Mickey get disemboweled. Four years old. So he's going to grow up and he's always going to associate the travel security with murdering his friends when he was four. Yep. Fuck that dad. That's fuck that dad. Jesus Christ. Even if even if like supposedly the mother put the pieces in there to try and frame him or something. How do you not notice that your kids toys are way heavier than normal? Gee, Mickey's put on a little weight. Yeah, I mean... What are you feeding this thing, kid? I've I've never held a gun, but I assume they've got some weight to them. Loaded. More than, say, a stuffed Mickey Mouse doll has. Loaded, too. I mean, what... Yeah. I I didn't know a gun could be loaded and disassembled at the same time. I didn't know that, but... They will... I don't know much about guns. They will pat down Grandma in a wheelchair... You know, but this guy... Well, the, the conspiracy theorists are already saying that this whole thing was planted to justify when they... Because there's been a lot of media about them searching yeah. kids or kids being on the watch list or what have you. So the conserve, like the conspiracy nuts are saying, oh, this was all planted to justify it. Because they're like, oh my god, look, we found a gun on a four-year-old. Of course we're going to search kids. And I'm like, okay, Mulder. Yeah, because no, nah, I just... Gonna... I want to believe, too... I'm just betting the guy was that stupid. We've seen enough evidence to believe this. Yeah. We 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 know. We know. Um Okay, so let's say you actually do want to commit a crime for profit. Um a robbery. There are many good targets where you will actually make money on a crime if you get away with it. Um, and don't check your Facebook. Yeah. Like uh, a convenience store, or definitely a bank. You can pull off a bank job. Maybe even a jewelry store. Um, kid in the next story, um, he went a different way. And I, I think... I commend him for thinking outside the box. I'm just not 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 sure he what he was thinking. Um, really? Teenager tried to rob police officer... At police station. This is from Dallas. Keith uh, Keith Emanuel is sitting inside the Dallas County Jail Tuesday night, waiting for someone to believe him. It was a joke, he told investigators. He didn't really want to rob that police station. Police, however, say the 18-year-old walked into the Wilmer Police Department Saturday evening with a white towel covering his hands. Uh, Police Chief Victor Kemp described the incident, saying, Yeah, well, uh... Man walked into the lobby, approached our dispatch officer through our commu- and told our communication officers, quote, give me all your money. Um, he, he gave a different name after a few moments of, ma- of playing it off. He said, you do know I have a gun. At that point, he seemed serious. It was then the officer decided she didn't feel like joking. She called for officers immediately and called for backup for another agency. The officers arrived and were able to take him down at gunpoint. What the fuck? Oh, so and, and, he couldn't... It sounds like he couldn't decide whether he was backing off of this thing or going forward. Like, you gotta commit. 
after he's been after he's been arrested. This is a wonderful quote. Man, I play like that all the time. I didn't think she would take it seriously. They're the cops, so when you show up and threaten to commit a crime, they're going to take that pretty fucking seriously. I play like, like that all the time. How, does this guy just walk up to his friends and be like, hey, got a gun, give me all your money. They play back with me too. They give me their money. It's a big joke, see? Yeah, that doesn't so much work on the cops. They they don't love that. No, just playing. It's like you can't just it, it doesn't go away if you said, no, man, it's just play it. It's just like you don't get there's not a timeout. Yeah. There's not a backseas, backseas. Yeah, you can't say backseas on pulling a gun. On a cop. You well, did, he didn't actually have a he gun. He didn't he actually have to pull a gun on a cop. That's still, you know what? If you if you cover, if you take a, like something and cover your hand and and make like you have a gun, that's considered armed robbery. Yeah. Even if you don't have one, that's you can't go backseat. That doesn't work. Yeah. You idiot. But they, I, they get dumber. They get dumber. Um. Awesome. So, uh, again, about drawing attention to yourself. When you are on the run from the law, I, correct me if I'm wrong here, I think one of the one things you would want to do is not get noticed. Generally. That, that would seem like a good plan. That would seem like the best course of action. So, um... Especially if it, uh, oh, for fuck's sake, I, I can't comment any further because, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, wanted sex offender caught watching. Oh, my porn God. Look at the mugshot at McDonald. And yes, the mugshot. Oh, God, I got to give him up on the big screen because just look at his face. He's loving it. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, yes, you, that one, low-hanging fruit. Yes, yes, It being, you know, the kids in the play place, probably, but... That's, that is a scary, that is a scary face. Yeah, that's, that, he's got the crazy eyes. A uh, fugitive sex offender was caught watching porn on a computer in the middle of a crowded fast food restaurant. He wasn't sitting out in his car. He wasn't outside leeching the Wi-Fi. No, no. He went up, he got his Big Mac, he sat down, and then got out his Big Mac. What exactly is sexy about the McDonald's anyway? Like, what What about your Big Mac? Because, I mean, I, I, I eat McDonald's more than a sane person should probably admit. I really like my double cheeseburgers, but... They don't like turn me on. Like I don't, I don't hit the drive-through <laughs> and then decide I've got to fire up the porn. Like Ronald McDonald is terrifying. Yes. <sighs> Brent Kellogg, forty-three, was arrested Monday at McDonald's in Holcomb Bridge Road in Roswell. Investigators said Kellogg was sitting at a table with his laptop when an off-duty sheriff's deputy noticed what appeared to be a lewd image on the screen. Notified the store manager and the notified police. I just got... If you're already a sex offender, you're convicted, you're on the run for this, it's not like... It can get worse. I promise you, it can get worse. It's not like they're not going to count this one because they already got me on the other one. No! Yeah, no. That's not how Double Jeopardy works. No! He's going to be doing the sex offender shuffle. Oh, jeez. I mean, I suppose you could argue that if you're a convicted sex offender, you probably have a higher probability of having sort of a compulsive behavior in that regard. In which case, I'm, I'm you know, get help. But in the but, McDonald's? Yeah. In the make I mean, what is it? Is is the smell of the fryer like, just arousing? 
Like, was he using the patties for lube? I, oh, oh, oh. Because they are pretty greasy. Well, I'm never having a burger again. <laughs> My ruined hamburgers for you? I'm sorry. Yep. I'm, I'm. Bash is a vegetarian now, everybody. No, I can't even do the vegetarian burgers because just. Now it's just happy time with. Oh, God. Yeah, and let's not even get started on cucumbers. Those dirty bitches. You're trying to starve me. I should start the, I should start up like a weight loss plan. I'd make millions. Just sell DVDs of me saying awful things about every food you love, and people will drop weight like that. So this next one... That's going to be better than my nerd strip club. You'd be a millionaire. You're going to get angry at this next one. I got angry at... Everyone, get ready to get angry, because this... Oh, fuck. All right. Every teacher has to deal with bad students. With mm -hmm. up with misbehaving ones, with ones who, who cause trouble in class. Every, every teacher does. But normally, your disciplinary measures probably should not come from a Disney film. Teacher Laura Bailey Cutco. Oh my god, this, yeah. Make students wear cone of shame pet collars. And it's Florida! Zephyr Hills, a Pasco County school teacher, is in trouble for putting a cone intended for pets around her students' necks. Um... According to a school district investigation, uh, Laura Belly Cutgump, a uh, science teacher, last month put a cone of on at least eight students. The whole idea came from the movie Disney Pixar Up, which she showed in her classroom twice. In that film, a dog wears the cone of shame as a form of, of punishment. That's a dog. That, that's a it's, it's dog. It's a cartoon it's dog. Yeah, it's not even a real dog, like, because you don't punish a dog that way either. Because I had a cat that had to wear a cone of shame because she had a skin condition and it, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's not even a punishment for the animal. It's just so they don't lick their stitches or whatever. Like, it's a cartoon <sighs> guy. It's a god. Okay. You are a teacher. And all these teachers a hard job. I know. I know. But if you are turning... To animated films for a way to figure out how to control your students. Quit. Fucking I mean, um, quit. Unless you're concerned about them licking their stitches. <laughs> I mean, if your students are compulsively licking themselves in the middle of class, maybe this is a solution, I guess. I don't... But Jesus. then I feel like you've got bigger problems, and you should probably refer them to the school counselor. I... Yeah, that, no, no. Inappropriate. I, I am so pissed at this because, Jesus Christ, it's called the Cone of Shame. And where did she get one big enough? Well, they make, they gotta make them for Great Danes and shit. I guess that's true. Man, you imagine the veterinarian. But they don't just give those out, like... You, like, you get one at the vet because your pet needs one. Like, it's not like you can just go buy a fucking cone collar. Internet! She's probably shopped on that... You know, that's probably a fetish for somebody. Oh, God. This just got worse. That that takes it to a way worse place. But you know it's true, though. It you is. You know if you Google that, yeah. that is somebody's fucking fetish, yeah. and then they probably want someone to pee in it. Mm. You're just, you, you have a talent for making everything worse. I do. It's a gift. Hey, you know what? Speaking of freaky fetishes... Um, and it's, I, my, I'm getting, I'm picking my dad up from physical therapy tomorrow, and he's been staying in an, in an assisted living place while he's getting fixed up. And this story kind of freaks me out because this guy could have been there. Uh oh. And I, I'm, whew, this is from the Hartford Courant. Uh, oh no, not Connecticut. Yeah, Connecticut. Um, 
Man charged with setting East Windsor nursing home fire. And that that sound that's that's pretty bad to start with, but let's get into it. The 73-year-old man accused of setting fire to a box of clothing in his room in the Kettlebrook Care Center Tuesday night told police he did so because he does not like nursing homes. And that's fair enough. My dad doesn't like staying there, but he'll be home. So I, I can understand I like nursing home. And because setting fire sexually arouses him. Okay. Well... Tuesday night, an interview uh, with uh, Police Corporal Byron Smith. Turner seemed lucid, according to the report. He confessed to setting the fire, told Smith he is sexually aroused by setting fire, and then taunted police about how long he would spend in prison. What are you going to do to me, Turner asked, according to the report. I'm an old man. I will be dead before I'm finished serving my 10-year ser- sentence for arson. So, here's my question. He doesn't like... Nursing homes. No. But he does like setting fires. Do those things cancel each other out? Or does setting the fire, which arouses him, make it... uh, And setting something he hates on fire make it better? How can I improve this place? Eh, Well, uh, if I set it on fire, I'll get a boner. I like it! It's a plan! I... I just, I do have to, you know, as weird as the guy is, I do have to love his, the fuck are you going to do to me? Huh? Huh? Yeah. I'm old. Fuck you. Yeah. So I said, oh, throw me in jail. Go eat Whatever. a dick. I don't care. Fuck you. Yeah. That's you know a very what? Grandpa Simpson approach. You know what? I'll set the jail on fire. I'll get a boner and burn all your asses down. Fuck you guys. That is one of the wonderful things about being old is, you know, fuck fuck, everybody. Fuck everybody. I'm old. Fuck you. What are you going to do to me? I'm old. But on the other hand, oh, this, the last, oh God, in his statement to police, Turner said he would set a fire again if given the opportunity. (laughs) Well... I mean, just set fire to your own stuff, dude. You know what? Fuck it, dude. You're 73. You want to set shit off? Go ahead. What the fuck? Just go no, ahead. Because he might set your place on fire. He might set. How's my he place gonna on- get here? He's in fucking Connecticut. I'm in Connecticut. I don't really want him setting my shit on fire because it gets him off. <laughs> Thank you very much. I would not like to burn to death for someone else's arousal. Well, that's your problem, that is isn't it? on the very, very long list of things that I am not willing to do for someone else's arousal. That's not my problem. That's your problem. Hey, you'd be out of co-host. Okay. Or yeah, sidekick, yeah. rather. Well, you, you handle this shit, too. You just don't push buttons. That's it. Yeah, but, you know. So what, what have we learned? That- you'd have to find one of the Loads and loads of people you have to replace me. <laughs> so so what have we learned this week? I I, I think we learned that um Don't check your fucking Facebook from the scene of the crime. Don't don't argue over a bear full of heroin in front of a cop. Yes. I think mainly on all of the the criminal things, it's if you're doing something illegal, don't call attention to yourself. Because here's a little hint. Part of committing an illegal act is getting away with it. Your kid is not your drug or weapon mule. No, he is not. Don't bring the toddlers into that shit. Leave them alone. No. They just want to watch Yo Gabba Gabba. That poor kid. I know, right? Like, his toys got massacred. Every time he sees he sees Mickey, he's going to want to punch a guy in a uniform, and he's not going to know why. Um. Someday, that kid will be setting his nursing on 
fire, his nursing home on fire because fire gets him off because of this. Circle of life, baby. Circle mm -hmm. of life. Also, um, cops, they don't like jokes. Especially jokes that involve give oh, me all your yeah, money. They don't, they don't like jokes about, you know, you causing them harm and committing crimes upon their person. Yeah, give me all your money. That's that's on their turf. Don't do that. No. They they the pol police will fuck you up. They don't like that. They 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 have enough shit to deal with. Of course, you might have to think the cops are like shit. They're making it easy now. They do yeah, they're just coming to us. It's like delivery. Also, you know, do we? we did learn that I will make a fortune off my diet plan of horrifying you out of eating anything. Oh Jesus. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? Why would you do that to me? I'm helping. I'm worried about your blood pressure and cholesterol. You are a liar. You could probably live on vintage sepa call. And angst. You are a bad person. That's why I have this job. Oh, poodle. Sad face. Sad hippo. Mm. And also, don't, don't look, why would... People like porn. People like porn. Okay. Porn in the McDonald's. In the Mc... Yeah, I... Mm. Porn in public, no. No, just no. I just... The McDonald's is, is not is not the place for your whatever. Look at all the criminals this week. You know, you remember that that, that bit in Batman? He he's not the hero we need, but he's the one we deserve. Uh -huh. I think it was the opposite way around though. Yeah, he's not the hero we deserve, he's the one we need. Um We don't really need Batman if this is if this is the level of criminal. You get Bozo the Clown out there to take care of the shit. We need, like, the Joker. Weirdly. <laughs> in terms of law enforcement... To teach them how to be better. In terms of law enforcement, you get the Bernstein Bears out there. They could clean this shit up. I don't think they were really into crime fighting. They lived in a tree. 